Hello and welcome to another episode. Again, I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode we're going to be talking about Google Plus Photos, which is going to be this icon right here on the bottom. They're going to have a similar icon that will be available for your Android and iOS devices. And I'm pretty sure it is available for Windows, though I don't want to be quoted as saying that as fact. That you know, I need to do a little research on that, just double check on that. But anyways, getting back to what we're talking about, this is going to be the Google Photos. So this app, again, we'll be doing this from the Chromebook. So as you see, it's called Google Plus Photos. And once you first open it up, you're probably going to be greeted with a little uh, a welcome screen where it's just going to you know, kind of tell you what you're going to be doing. And you just need to click OK, and then your photos will start to upload, or at least be viewable from what you've been previously uploading. And how this all works is you're going to notice on the left-hand side is going to be everything's going to be broken down into your months. So each month will have a section of photos into it and how many photos are located in each one. So as I scroll down, we should run into April, which April's right there as you can see, and it keeps going down as so far, and so on. Now how this is going to work is on the very top is you're going to have your photos, which is going to be this section right here. The next uh, area over is going to be uh, uh, albums. Now your albums are going to be based on just photos that uh, maybe, like I say, you know, I have certain photos, like this is from a hangout, somebody sent me, you know, this little Rastafarian uh, guy, uh, you know, there's another hangout with a buddy of mine, you know, after he's passed out from a long night, I'm sorry for those explicit pictures there, you know, can't really, I can delete those images, but I look at it as kind of being funny, you know, and 20 years from now, I'd like to kind of see the, the random thoughts that, you know, I had with some of the people that I've spoken to in my life. Again, so how what this is all going to work is, you know, your images, if you come into settings, so it'll be this little gear icon in the top right, then you want to click on settings, and this is where you're going to be able to manipulate and do everything that you need to for setting up your Google Plus Photos. So on the very top, you're going to notice that you're going to automatically import them, so once you plug in your photo or any memory card into your Chromebook, they'll automatically be uploaded into your photos. So only check that when you are knowing that you're keeping your photos kind of organized on your devices. And the reason I say that is if you take a ton of photos and you have a lot of mess ups as well, it gets kind of a pain in the ass when you're uploading everything. So, you know, when you're traveling or you're coming back or doing anything like that, just glance through your photos real quick and delete what you don't need on your actual device. And then when you plug it in, it makes just editing and doing all that stuff just really, really simple. Um, again, coming down to the upload size, uh, your full size is going to be your images. You know, it's going to be whatever you took that image as. So with Google just actually recently releasing a new update to their aspect ratio on the Google camera for Android, you can change the, you know, what you want your aspect ratio, which comes in handy if you want to download it as a full size. I do it as a standard size because I want to make sure I get all my photos and don't have to worry about storage space. And on top of it, I can always come in and make sure I upload individual photos at their full size. So this is more or less just for you know, uploads that are happening all the time automatically in the background or when you plug in your device. Auto curation, you know, you can always select what the best shot from your photos to import. Uh, this is going to be located as like a highlight. So the best images that has the best lighting, it's, it works as a Google algorithm. Uh, anyways, it's, uh, you know, it just, it's, it's a, the way the program works and it kind of goes through the images and it reads the, the way images are displayed through more or less a mathematical calculation where it knows you know certain things need to uh, be a certain way for the image to kind of be a good image to import so again it will you can have that so it's going to make sure that it picks your best images uh, only do that if you know that you are taking tons of images and you don't mind you possibly losing images from you know doing quick delete on your device because it won't be backed up here uh, Sending anonymous, uh, sorry, anonymous uh, usage stats to Google. You know, it's always nice to do if you want to make sure that this uh, stuff always upgrades and gets better and better as time goes on. And how much local space you have, or sorry, how much local space you're currently using for your images. And of course, copyright at the bottom. So that's just your basic layout of how your settings is going to work, and this is all going to make that work. Uh, moving on, one over, it's going to be add photos. So if you click that. You know, you just come in, browse the images that you want to upload, save, you know, wh whether it's in your Google Drive or just from your downloads, you can do that. Uh, play it as a slideshow, you know, standard, you click it, it's going to start a slideshow, as you can see. Oh, anybody watched the playoff game last night, you're going to see that and know what uh, that image is about. 
uh, coming in here, if you want to select multiple images, you go ahead and click that. And I can just come in here and kind of just click what I do not want. So, you know, I'll just kind of remove all oh, these images here. I can just come up, delete, add them all to an uh, album if I want to, or even share them. So adding uh, images to an individual album becomes really easy because you can multiple select and move them all at once. And you can also see the image in front of you. A lot of times, you know, when we get our image set up, it's just a list of, you know, image names, and it's usually image-4632 on whatever date it was. And it kind of, you know, so it's easier to actually see what you're looking at, and then you can work from it from there. Uh, another thing you want to do is if you click on an image, this is where you're going to get into more of your, you know, your detailed properties. So, you know, you can come in here and add tags to it. Uh, you can edit exactly the way it looks like. You can download the image, you know, rotate, whatever you're trying to do, you can kind of, you know, really get into it and make it a, a little bit more of your editing as far as the details of the, the image, not necessarily the, what it looks like. If you're going to want to see, as you can see, here's the enhance on the top left hand corner for the editing. So it's on high right now. If I go to normal, see if we, can notice that and go back up to high this is, oh there you go so you can kind of tell I don't know if you could tell in the video but everything kind of just got a little bit brighter you know kind of makes it so you know the yellow stands out uh, you know the blue background and everything stands out as well as the red and that is going to be basically it for the you know basic layout of how Google Photos works so I find this is a very useful tool, especially since you get unlimited storage. And if you already have a Gmail account, you know, it's really nice to keep everything together. Uh, you can, you know, it's always uh, upload your photos from other uh, image sources such as Flickr. Or if you use any storage unit through uh, Apple iOS and you, you know, you switched over to an Android device, it's very easy to upload all your images. Uh, thanks for watching. And if again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, subscribe and I'll see you next video.